evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm joined as ever by Nerdy Gamer. Hello, oh. Nog. Hello, hello. And what, what are you up to today? Uh, I am going to try and set up a green science outpost Ooh. up here where I am, where there's some 4.1 million uranium, some 10 million stone, and 8.3 million copper, so I'm going to build to the left of that, or to the west of that. Okie dokie. I am going to start making grenades. Cool. Because we need them. Don't we? we do. Trees. Trees. No. Science. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Science. No trees. No trees. I'm going <laughs> to make the absolute bare minimum so there's no spare grenades. <laughs> they, all, they all get used for science. I forgot about science. Um, all right, well, I guess we can use the grenades for science as well. Good. What I am going to do is I'm also going to connect the uh, nuclear power up via a different route. So it has two ways to come in in case something gets broken. Because right now we're still running on a single backbone down the train tracks. Yep. Sounds. I know, I know there, there is there is a separate power system coming up. Does that go all the way up? Yes, it does. Okay, so there is there is there are two connections from our nuclear power to our main base. That's good. How how is our power? Do we have a main base? The, to the main line. Okay. Connect it to the main train line, and then it's fine. And we should really have some redundancies in the train lines as well, you know, some... Because right now, every train like, from the south has to go through that central roundabout where our smeltery is. Yeah, we, we, we need to add some uh, some more north-south uh, lines. We really do. Okay, so I'm, let's disconnect. Are we making yes. cliff explosives anywhere? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. No, we're definitely not making barrels or explosives or anything like that at all. <clears throat> so uh, I'm afraid not. Okay. Fine, fine. Uh, he will. I don't even know where dynamite. Guess we'll put in the T junction. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, dynamite is made in the chemical plant. Uh, T junction. We want one of those. No, oh, we want four lane. Oh. No, roundabout. That's what I'm building. Are you building a T-junction roundabout as well? I am indeed. I'm going to take down that radar. We're going to have one down here. Maybe it shouldn't be a T-junction, but a... No, a T-junction. I'm going to make it the grenades right next to nuclear power. Okay. What could go wrong? Absolutely nothing. It sounds like a perfectly safe plan to me. Yeah. Because when the iron below the nuclear reactor runs out, that's where we're going to do the uh, uranium processing. So. Okay. Fine. That's the idea. So grenades, nuclear power, uranium processing, all together. Sounds good. What could go wrong? Yep. And setting up the green science shouldn't take more than five minutes, right? Should be reasonably easy. I missed a lot of words. Uh, yeah, well. Uh, I learned from my former boss that time is relative. 
Time is relative. Did you sweat for Einstein? Sorry? Did you sweat for Einstein? Einstein. 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 Albert Einstein. Uh, oh, uh, Albert Einstein. Okay, I, I'm with you now. Uh, well, uh, no, well, he, <sighs> he, he said that too. Uh, but but I learned from from uh, from my former boss that uh, well his five minutes were not the same as everyone else's five minutes. Ah, uh, is that the same as uh, I'll be ready in five minutes? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, as, as I said, uh, a, a woman's I'll be ready in five minutes, and a man's I'll be home in five minutes from the pub are exactly the same time. Yeah, that's that sounds right. That sounds yeah. right. Yeah, so uh, my, my old boss, he, he would be like, yeah, I'll have it ready for you in five minutes. And two hours later, maybe if you were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, been five minutes. Uh, it'll only take me five minutes. And then you were just waiting for the rest of the day for <laughs> whatever he was making. It, it was hilarious, really. Oh dear! Uh, he, he he was a great boss. He, he was a really good boss. I I really liked working with him. Uh, but his con concept of time was alternate. Ah uh, yes. Uh, where the hell is the parking? Train parking there. We want. We want this one. What? And he, he was also he he was funny as hell because uh, one time he um, he was in Istanbul for a meeting. Uh, I think he was he he was there for a few days, and and when he was traveling home, he <laughs> he, he forgot his laptop in the airport in oh. Istanbul airport. He just left it on the seat next to him. Oh, so, nice! Yeah. So when he landed in Copenhagen, he called up. Istanbul Airport and said, have you find a lap found a laptop? Yes, we have. All right. Excellent. And then he booked a flight on the return flight that he just came to Copenhagen with. And he flew back to Istanbul to to pick up his okay. laptop. <laughs> that, 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 that's a little excessive, but yeah, okay. <laughs> but you, you can't work without your laptop. <laughs> That, that that's true, but take another a plane to do it. It's like... <laughs> it was hilarious. The whole office was laughing at him so hard. It's so funny. I I think I'd be like, um, do you know what? I want the laptop, but can you uh, send it to me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's what a what a normal person would have done, but he he wasn't normal. <laughs> no, but, so that that does that. It's gonna have a fuel stop on. Where are explosives? That there. Can you make explosives in your pocket? No. Unfortunately, no. Do you have any cliff explosives on you? Uh. I have nine. Uh, my train, my train has about a hundred. Oh, nice. Where, where's your train? Uh, next to me. Uh, I will send it up to you. There we go. Thank you. On its way to the track just below. You. Thank you. And now I probably need it. <laughs> <laughs> train pickup. I only want to do this one side. Oh, 
Oh, did I put that in right? I don't think I did. Yeah, I did. I did. I only want to have the on so. Come on, train. It's, yeah. it's coming. Yeah. You have to be patient with it. It's an old train. You know, it's been around a long time. That's true, but... You know, people aren't really patient with the trains, are they? Like... Standing at the train station, which I'm doing now, is... It always feels like a waste of time. Like, come on. Get there. Uh, wait, what? Hang on, that's wrong. Uh, so I Ooh, is this the one? Oh. Is this the one? No. Is this the one? No. So it should be there by now. Uh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Uh, don't, don't go anywhere. It's not going to. It's not going to. It's just set to go there and stop. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, Don't worry. My train won't abandon you. It's a nice, <laughs> friendly train. Oh. That's nice. I like nice, friendly trains. Yeah. There's a, oh, well, I, I don't know if he's there anymore, but I used to take the train to work every day when I was living in Denmark. And normally it was just like, okay, let's get this over with, 45 minutes. Uh, but there was one train driver who made such a difference to, to the whole day. Yeah, because he he would he would call up on the uh, the whole uh, intercom thing, uh, the announcement thing, uh, what what they call the speakers, yeah, and yeah. and and he would be like, "Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. I know it sucks, but just <laughs> think about it. Pretty soon it's gonna be weekend again, and we can all." enjoy it and i know you all love your work and he, he was just it, it was just amazing he went whenever this train driver he he was uh, the driver when, when he started speaking everyone stopped looking at their phone everyone stopped reading the newspaper they just listened to him because his his messages were just positive and energetic and like, yeah, it's a new day. Awesome. It, yeah, yeah. See, see, stay. Get on with it. Let's do. Let's do this. Yeah, exactly. He he awesome. was fantastic. He was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to steal my train back. All right. Because I need to steal from it. Um. Yeah. You yeah, it's, it's it's nice when you get people like that that do things. I, I've noticed. Um, uh, I don't know what station it is in London, but they somebody's writing up on the board, the like the notice board there, like mm -hmm. positive quotes for the day and how great things are and how fantastic. And people are taking pictures of it and posting it on social media. It's like, oh, cool. Whoever's doing that, good job, well done. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's not a great deal, but. If somebody stops and reads that, it's gonna make it's gonna make someone smile. And if you can make someone smile, always do that. Yes, absolutely. You know, absolutely. That's the only the only pyramid scheme I ever subscribed to. You know, make two people smile, and if they go off and make two people smile, by the end of the week, everyone will be smiling. Yeah, that sounds like a good philosophy to, to me. Uh, philosophy, not philosophy. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and then everyone can be happy. Yeah. Right, so we need ten coal and five iron plates. Two stations for this. 
Alright. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm training. Fine. But it is going to be an awful lot of speed. Full side, real. Well, not. Oh, 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 you would. You would. I would what? I took all the gears out of my train and dumped it in the uh, splitter world going, yeah, fine, I don't need it anymore. Mm -hmm. I now need iron. <laughs> I now need iron. Okay, so this is the way I want it. Mm, there, I think. Iron gear train, come here. Because I need to make a hundred assembly machines. Well, that's all. That's required to make. Uh, it makes 562 grenades a minute. All right. And we only need 500 for time. But you know, four lines to 25 just makes sense in my head. I also yeah. need to figure out because they need to go down. So that means I get 26 Across. grenades a second for blowing up trees. Yeah, Sixty-two point awesome. five grenades a minute. Yeah, so so basically you get one grenade a second, just over. Okay. Well, that's fine. That'll keep me happy. So you best you best keep up because I don't I don't want this backing up. So you best come and use one grenade a second. Okay. Man, I'm gonna kill those trees. <laughs> Guys, got me. Oh, no on splitters, but we are producing the splitters now, right? The red splitters, are we? Yes. Outstanding. We are producing them. There is no train. Pick them up. Oh, okay. So, um, where? where? I don't know what. No, we're not producing them. I didn't even finish that. I got distracted. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was just looking at it. It was like, what? Where? Where are the splitters being made? But the, they're not. Yeah, I was. I. I was in the middle of doing something and then got distracted. That happens. So um. <laughs> It happens. Let's bring this over. We're gonna need another one of those. So I will go back and do that in a moment. Um... Uh, first and foremost, to make. What do I put in there? Both sided rail drop belts forward. No, oh, that was one sided. Damn it. Don't click before you actually read the words. Both sided rail drop belts forward. There. Five of those can't make any more of those or iron plates. Let's make a of those and then let's go back to what we were doing last episode and actually finish what we were doing last episode. <laughs> I can't. What? <laughs> oh, because it was fuel. It was fuel. That's what it was. I noticed that the yellow. I put the train in to make to pick up the yellow splitters, mm -hmm. and then was like, "Oh, it's got no fuel, so I need to fix that." And then when I was doing the fuel, I was like, "Coal, grenades, oh yeah, that's next." <laughs> oh, makes sense. <laughs> I'm like a squirrel. Quick. Uh, yeah. um, 
Yeah, I think because I walked away from it, I just completely forgot he was there. So. <laughs> but there is, there is a problem here because I'm not getting any green circuits for some bizarre reason coming down here. I don't know why. There should be green circuits being made. And there are, but they're not. What are we missing? We are missing copper cable. Why are we missing copper cable? Well, there's no copper train. Wait, where's... I said, oh. Wait, copper what? cable is waiting at copper cable pickup. Wait, what? The train stop was ch changed to be an iron plate drop-off instead of a copper plate drop-off. So now there's a ton of iron plate on there. What the heck? Right? How the hell I'll did be that honest, happen? I, I, I might have done that. Um... I, I go to the map and I copy things, like copy uh, copy track uh, stations. Mm -hmm. So I copy one to another, and it's possible that I pasted instead of copied. I don't think I would have, though, because it's right-click to copy and left-click to paste, so I don't think I'd have done that mistake. But... Well, there are people who don't know the difference between left and right. <laughs> But there's definitely a lot of I, iron I, where it shouldn't I, be. No, I used to suffer from that a lot. I, I used to suffer from not knowing my left and right at all until I started driving. And then it just clicked and worked for me. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, okay. I don't know why. I don't know why driving did it to me. I, I don't know. I think because my, my driving instructor, he used, to, he used to go, right, we're going to take the next left. I'd indicate right and he'd go, your other left. <laughs> and he never, he, he, he never he never took the mickey out of me. He, never, he, just said, you know, he just said that all the time. And now, oh, yeah, that way instead. Okay. So, um, and also, no, I think I know because my driving instructor also said if you hold your index finger, your index finger and your thumb up, mm -hmm. um, L is left. If you hold them both, both up like that and you look at yeah, them, okay. L is left, and the other one is a backwards L, so that can't be left. So yeah, that makes sense. And I'm like, ah, and I've just, I've just, I've just, my, my brain just gone, oh yeah, that. And that's stuck in my head. So there we go. That's a trick for anyone who's struggling with the left and right. Just hold your thumb and fingers up straight. Uh, you know, your, your fingers up straight and your thumb out, and it will make an L with your hand. Makes sense. Okay. Now, yeah, so. where are we going, and why is there a train station called Meatsack? <laughs> Where's Meatsack? Oh, that, uh, that's that's the uh, red science pickup. Oh, okay. Um, so, Damn it! I, where, where the hell am I going with the? I've, 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 I'm going to the green, to the, to the copper cable, aren't I? Well, um, I, I, I can go fix that. I don't, I don't know where. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I can go fix it. No problem. I'll fix it. Okay. I, I, I don't know where it is on the map. There's so many stations. Uh, there are. And so I, I already learned that, uh, or I always learned that uh, my left hand is where my thumb is on the right. Is that helpful? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because... For, for two reasons. One, if you don't know your left finger, right, you're good for it. Yeah. But two, if I look at my hand, I instinctively look at the palm, which is my left hand is where the thumb is on the left. That's true. <laughs> so it's like, hang on. Uh, <laughs> That's true, but if you just lift your hand up, your palm will now, be facing now, down. Mouse goes in right hand, unless you're left-handed. Then you're just left-handed. So. Yeah.
Well, I, I am left-handed, but I use my mouse like normal people. Sorry, left-handed people. Ah. Uh... So I, I, I use my mouse in my right hand. I also play golf right-handed. For some reason. Oh. Play golf? Ooh, ooh, fancy you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Love playing golf. It's fun. But I haven't played for years because I moved to Thailand and it's too hot to play golf in Thailand. Oh, is it? <laughs> I have never been to Thailand. I, I, I mean, I know it's further south than us, so closer to the equator makes it hotter. Yeah, it's tropical. So I, I, I don't know what wind and stuff is like there because, uh, uh, like, like um, oh, where was it? Uh, was it Puerto Rico? I think it was. Uh, I thought it would be boiling because it's pretty much on the equator, mm -hmm. but apparently it's not. Because there's always a breeze there. There's al always wind because it's because it's a, a large island basically. There's oh, okay. always breeze. So it's like, oh, okay. So it never really gets. I mean, obviously it gets hot. It's but it never really gets. You know, it's never gets super hot. Yeah, never gets. Um, it, uh, it it gets super hot, hot here. It gets super hot here. I mean, it's it's. Uh... It's, um, well, I think the coldest day I have experienced in Bangkok was 22 degrees, 23 degrees, something like that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Having a very quick look at the weather just now, uh, it's, uh, eight degrees outside. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cold. It's, it's a little bit hotter here. <laughs> Why am I not picking up? Oh, because it's a filter inserter. Um, yeah, I don't have any more fast inserters. I still you. Yeah, so, so, I mean, during the summer season, it's like... Typically 35, 40 degrees. Well, yeah, I, I don't think I could breathe. <laughs> and the summer season is coming. It's It'll be in a couple of weeks, three weeks, four weeks. <clears throat> I say it's going to be spring here in two weeks. So, yeah. This is going to take no, too long. Not, uh, I, mean, I, I, I like the heat over the cold. I definitely like the heat over the cold. But I live near the coast, um, so it's very nice to just be able to go down and be like, ah, oh, sea breeze. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, although I think Bangkok is on the coast, isn't it, as well? So it's. <laughs> uh, Bangkok isn't exactly on the coast, but it's, uh, it, it's a few hours' drive. To the coast. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit closer than that. I, I, I walk, uh, uh, not that you can see me pointing, but I walk that way down the hill, and there's the channel. <laughs> there's the English channel. Hey. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> and on well, a clear nice. day, like, yeah, probably see France if I look out. So, so yeah. Oh, that's cool. For, oh, France or Germany? Uh, either one, one or two. So it's, it's, it's a bit weird because if, if I go to the town over, then you can see a different country on the coast because of how geography works. <laughs> okay, so then you can see what Belgium? Is it Belgium? I, I need to bring a map up. I can't. What, what is what is northeast? Of, uh, I don't know what country it's over there. It would have to be Belgium. So from where I, I am, from where I am, if I look out, I can see. 
Yeah, yeah, it would be uh, well. Well, if 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 I look north from where I am, I actually see the rest of England because uh, you go across the Thames Estuary and uh, uh, it's just stuff for that. But um, but yeah, if if I look west of where I am, then yeah, it's Belgium. Yeah, Belgium and maybe a bit of the Netherlands. Yeah, I don't quite know. Obviously, obviously yeah. You can't make anything out. It's just like, oh, there's land, land ho. And that's about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's nice. It's it's nice to to be able to be like, hey, look, I can see another country. Um, when I have friends over in the states that are like, yeah, I could drive for four hours and still be in my back garden. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I could drive for four hours and literally visit four countries. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Europe is a tiny little place. It's great. <laughs> it is. It is a tiny little place. And and people who don't live in Europe don't really get that it's actually quite small. Yeah. I mean, so, a, a day's journey, you can be south of France from where I am and, uh, you know, be yeah. enjoying, enjoying Greece or... or uh, yeah, I think, I think I could jump on the Channel Tunnel and I can do France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany... All within about four hours, I think. Yeah. At a push, in a day, I could definitely visit five countries in one day. Yeah, absolutely. So, so when I was living in Denmark, we when we went on skiing vacations, uh, not with my parents, but after I went with my parents, basically uh, we we would drive, and it'll be a twi- twelve hour drive from Denmark through Germany to Austria to go skiing go yep. all the way through Germany in 12 hours uh, and basically okay. most of most of the time is actually driving in Austria because uh, it's in the mountains and you have to drive slower and so on so half probably half of the journey half of the 12 hours are actually in Austria on mountain roads <laughs> Wow okay. So, so if I were to just do a day's travel from where I am, uh, then it could I could do obviously the England from where I am, and then France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and Italy. Yeah. In one day, in one day of driving, not yeah. not actually visiting anywhere, just driving through. Yeah, 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 exactly. I get my passport stamped, going to one, two, three, four, well, one, two, four, five, six, seven countries in a day, in twenty four hours. Yeah. That's madness. That sounds right. That that is a bit of madness. It is. It is, and I mean, when I was working in uh, in Bali in Indonesia, uh, there was a huge earthquake on uh, the neighboring island of uh, um, oh shit, what's the name? The, where the capital is, Jakarta. Um, uh, uh, it, it's uh, uh, crap. I can't remember the name. Give me a second. I don't. I I, I have Google Maps up. Uh, so Bali. Bali. Uh, Carter is uh, not showing up on the map. It's a real city, I assure you, and it's a large. Oh, no, no, I've, I've, <laughs> I, I, I have, I have, I have heard of Jakarta. Yeah. Uh, Jakarta is there. Java. Oh, that's my Java. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes. Java is yeah, the name. Java. Central Java. Yeah. Yeah, and and there was a huge earthquake there, and uh, family and friends, everyone were were immediately calling. They're like, "Are you okay?" Uh, did anything happen? Like, what are you talking about? There was an earthquake. Oh, really? In Jakarta, it was, it was huge. It was like a seven, seven and a half, eight uh, oh, on the Richter oh. scale earthquake. And I, I was like, oh, okay. I, I, I didn't know. But, but you, you're right next door. No, I'm not. Uh, Bali to Jakarta is like the same as going from northern sweden to southern italy yeah 
Oh, <laughs> longer than it looks. Yeah, it is. It's insane. I don't know if that's the actual distance, but it is a long, long way. Uh, and it's much, much further away than people think. I mean, Asia is gigantic. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's, it's, it's a huge place. Yeah, I mean, if you take a look at Denmark and compare it to just Thailand, Thailand is around five and a half times bigger than Denmark. Denmark is a small place, I know that, uh, but five and a half times bigger than Denmark, and Thailand is a small country in Asia. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's difficult to tell on this thing here, but yeah, Th Thailand's probably got about the same land mass as just England, not yeah. with Scotland, but yeah. So... Sounds about right. It, it, always, it always astounds me looking at the map and, and just like... Okay, so I zoom out and I look at the map. You know what? The United States isn't really that big. Uh, north, North United States. Well, the United States. Yeah. No, it, it, Canada it, is way bigger. Canada is way bigger. <laughs> way bigger. Uh, and in fact, to be honest with you, um, Alaska is probably about half the... So but the Alaska landmass is probably just as big as the United States, really, looking at it. Maybe, well, maybe not quite as big, but... Yeah, that, that's true. That's true. Alaska's a huge territory. And then you come over to Russia, just like Russia is pretty much the rest of the world. That's <laughs> Yeah. Well, when it was the Soviet Union, at least. Oh, God, yeah. It, it was it was massive, wasn't it? It was, it was way yeah. bigger than it is now. So. Yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. But we're also out of time, which is also crazy. Ge geography. It's good. We've been speaking geography and speaking the world and, 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 and chilling out. And it's yeah. all great. All good. Yeah. But we are out of time. You are correct. So... Yeah, and I still didn't connect the red spitters up because I went at train. And yeah, was... and uh, I have not cleared out all of the um, the iron because there's just too much of it. It takes a long time to clear this out. Ah, yeah. Okay. But uh, so, yeah. So, so sorry, we haven't been achieving a great deal, but you know, we had a good chat. We've been fun. We've been having fun. That's what. Exactly. Uh, so I guess we'll leave this one here and come back next time, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Okie dokie. So, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this one, and we hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>